Hey beauties, today I'm going to be sharing how I achieve this hairstyle. It's actually really, really easy. Even a beginner who has no experience with curling your hair can do this. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra and I post lots of fashion, hair, and beauty content. If you enjoy that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's go ahead and get started on this fun little hairstyle. Sipping on some V8 Energies. These are so good, the strawberry lemonade. Put that over there so I don't spill it. We're here for hair though. So I'm actually starting off with damp hair. I actually washed my hair last night and just slept in a bun because I do like my hair to be damp when I blow dry it but my roots are dry, which is good because then I can just blow dry up for volume. Before I brush out my hair though, I'm going to prep it. The first thing that I'm using is this Blonde Me Shine Elixir. I really like this stuff. I did just wash with my Fanola Blue Shampoo because in my last video, my hair is kind of looking a little orange. I need a hair change, you guys. I want y'all to tell me down below if you want another highlight video because I have done a few roots highlight and then I did a reverse balayage. I'm kind of thinking going dark and getting curtain bangs. It's really trendy this season for fall. So let me know. I do need a hair color update though, desperately. Next, I'm gonna use this Madison Reed Sleek Attack Styling Cream. So I really like this stuff. It actually does help my hair get a little bit more smooth as I'm blow drying it. So I just kind of work it through. And then on top of that, the last product I'm gonna use is this Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. I picked this up on Amazon. Normally I would spray it directly in my hair, but honestly, it's just spitting at this point because the sprayer is broken. So I'm just gonna take some in my hand, like three or four little spritz, and then just work it through my hair. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then just making sure I go through my roots like that. Now I'm just gonna brush my hair. Uh, where is my clip? Let me grab a clip. Where is my, oh, it was right here on my bathroom counter the whole time. So now I'm gonna section my hair in just two sections. And I take like right at my temple I am gonna be using my Hot Tools Round Brush Blow Dryer. This one is adjustable. I did get the bigger barrel, but you can also buy a smaller barrel and a straight brush, but I like a two-in-one product. So I went with that one. You do have to buy everything separately though, but so far I've really been liking this size. Normally I would blow dry with my hair on top of the blow dryer. Today I'm going to do it opposite so that when I'm blow drying my hair actually does already flip out. Since my hair is sort of damp, not super wet, I am gonna go with the low option. This blow dryer does get pretty hot so I do blow dry on low. If you noticed, once I get to the end, I do just kind of grab all the hair because as I keep grabbing, the curl keeps flipping out a little bit more. So this is what it looks like when it first gets blow dried. And then as I keep going, it gets more curled. I'm just gonna repeat on the other side. It's easier to go like this than like this. So I do go like, just like this, wrap it around, keep it and then slowly bring it down. That's gonna help get this sleek, straightened look. Here we go, side two.
Okay, so moving on to the top layer, I'm just gonna clip this back. I'm gonna fix my part. Part looks good. So now on the top, I'm literally gonna repeat the process. Now I am gonna start doing the half up, half down part. Let's start mid temple. I'm just using one of these little brushes, smooth everything out. I think I wanna go all the way down to my ear. So just taking it, connecting it. I usually do like a V style. I don't go all the way back here, I kinda go up to where I want the ponytail to sit. If you want the ponytail to sit a little bit further back, then you would take more hair. But I like mine right on the top of my head, so. I have a regrowth from where I had Ellie, so before I tie my hair up, I'm just going to heavily spray some hairspray. everything nice and smooth and then I'm gonna do another round of hairspray okay so what I'm gonna do now is take my hair tie And then on the last time around my hair, I'm going to split it down the middle. I just recently discovered this trick from an Instagram reel. Tried it, really like it, okay. Then you're gonna just tie it up half of the pony. Which that should be in the back. Take it, squeeze it down. Kind of fix it. I'm still practicing this technique, but just gotta mess with it a little. I'm just gonna hide that hair tie. Literally just wrapping a piece of hair around it. Then I'm gonna take a bobby pin. You're gonna take the straight side up. I'm gonna pin. What I like to do to make my hair more full down here, just take a comb and brush it back down. 
try not to tease my hair too much, but I don't really like light coming through my ponytail. So if I'm teasing my hair, it's gonna make the ponytail look more full. I'm just going to perfect the curl with a curling iron because once you lift your hair, it is actually going to flip inward because you're doing it upside down. So I'm taking the largest barrel from this dry bar. I wanna say this is a one and one fourth inch barrel. And then I'm just gonna turn it upside down and curl out just like that. I do like to do all the teasing and the combing before I do the curl, just because you don't wanna brush this curl out too much. So now I'm just going to curl the bottom layer. It gives it just a little bit extra bounce. I'm just hitting it really lightly. And again, I'm kind of doing the same technique as I did with the blow dryer by just kind of letting it like that. Getting the bottom layer. Now I'm gonna just touch the actual ponytail with hairspray, just so it sits up a little higher. I like to just hold it up until it like really feels like it's getting sticky and dry. Just for that extra hold. This is the final look. I really love it. I feel so sassy when I have my hair like this. So if you decide to recreate this look, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see you guys highlighting your own hair and curling your own hair, even cutting your hair using my techniques. With that being said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.